dude. Oh, come to me, come to me. No, he went straight for my healer. H, what? Whoa. Oh my God. Whoa. Yo, where's all this shit coming from? Fuck, it's worse. Let me just do this. So I'll just use all of this. So, equal to or greater than one. Cool. You need an XP potion? Nope, I should be good. So, let's see. We could probably make... So, the daybreak bar. Not bad. Alright. That works out. That works out, I like that. So we got something that pops up for daybreak, and we got something that pops up for, um, what's it called? Our fucking, what's it called? Sunset. Oh my god, I'm doing 1.6k AoE. I mean, it's not bad for a tank. That's level 55 and, you know, heirloom gear. I mean, it's not bad. So. Is my- I feel like my Sunflare Aegis has a cooldown reduction. Oh, so it's every time I get hit, I think. Every time I, uh, block, I think it... Holy shit. This damage is kind of nuts. Um, why? Dude. This class isn't a bad deal. Like, the DPS potential... It's pretty good. Not that, like, you should really care. About how much DPS a class does, like tank wise. But, like, that's pretty good, man. Oh my goodness. Alright. That wasn't a bad pull at all. That was a good daybreak. We used Shine right there. So, good. Big ad groups like this, you can do some decent, like a decent amount of damage not that like like i said that's not the goal but that uh that sunflare agus pretty like that has crazy potential should probably make another weak aura for the um like another weak aura for uh sephiric bulwark for its uptime 10 seconds and then run out because I mean like honestly if you have the thing that re like adds a charge like you should have that up Like constantly shouldn't you? It's not bad, dude. I really like this class. This class actually has a fuck ton of potential It's good. Good job All right, what are we at? 57 it's going by slow. I might need another potion. We got we got a lot of LFG bonus rewards and the by the way if you're watching this All right, all the uh, dungeon caches they they scale so The good thing we leveled right there Like I'm so serious when I say that Oh, I just cleansed all that magic off Come on, Teal, get me up, get me up, get me up. Chains of well, or right, job. All right, I need that potion, Teal. I totally forgot. Yeah, you're up to get like 10 tickets. I don't want to make it so people can get like a thousand tickets, you know what I mean? So 10 tickets. By the way, Mike, thank you for the follow, bro. And Slippery Fist, Slippy, slippy Fist. Thank you, thank you, dude. Dude, I'm really liking this Sun Cleric tank. This is kind of nice. It does feel a little bit squishy, but it's got it's got potential. It does take a little bit to get your uh your daybreak though. It's like the more I level, the more I can see the damage potential in like mythic pluses and stuff. Yeah, Ghost Striker, you gotta you gotta watch a little bit. Hidden the follow also helps. 
subscribers get 3% chance to, uh, to win. But, I mean, you definitely don't have to sub to win. You definitely have a lot of potential in doing without. That's on me. I totally forgot 100 stacks. I turn into this guy. My bad, guys. I have noticed, like, the thing to do is, like, you definitely don't want to waste your daybreak, but it's so hard to keep track of, especially without a weak aura. Like, even with the weak aura, I'm still, like, I'm still messing up. And I'm stacking, I'm stacking, uh, daybreaks. I'm also stacking, uh, like, sunset abilities, which is, like, really bad. You play Area 52, and if so, what build? I do not play in Area 52. I don't dare touch that shit. Area 52 is the graveyard of Ascension. No offense, Gray and Dutch, because I know you guys watch. Area 52 is like a graveyard, man. It's where dead characters go after the season ends. All right. And we just got to kind of keep him cycling. Like, look at that. I was stacking Daybreak, man. They could still kill him. Nope. Demon within died. Damn. Dude, you got you to gotta make sure you got it. You got to keep me up, man. I feel like you're chancing it. Oh, no mana? Oh, you didn't say nothing. I ain't looking at that. I'm a DPS player. You gotta let me know when you have no mana. <clears throat> Point when you had no mana, blaming you when you die, you're practically a tank man. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> well, you didn't tell me! You didn't type, hey, oom. Um. They got an emote for that shit. Oom. Um. Oh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I have to mail it to get mana back. It's weird. Yeah, that sounds like shit. Here, let me bless you real quick. There you go. I don't have a greater bless. Do you need more fire? I need a few more. Don't need a lot more. What are you doing? Teal! Who was that? Was that you? How much I can get a little bit more of that? I appreciate you, dude. Regis Slam now resets the cooldown of Glorious Execution makes the next use within 10 seconds strike five enemies. Gavel of two increase the duration of Chosen the Light. Which one's Chosen the Light again? Chosen. Uh, become chosen in the light, reducing damage taken by 40%. Yeah. Scroll of hope. Just... Increase the effectiveness of some player by 25% reduces its cooldown by 10 seconds. I mean, I, I kind of like that more. I, I kind of use those for the big AoE pulls. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, and then we pop Sulfuric Bulwark. We'll pop Aegis. Daybreak, I don't think I'll need a heal, so we'll just use that. We'll pop, um, what's it, what is it called? Anoint. Use our daybreak, we'll use it for DPS. Do bulwark again. Aegis. I should oh, I thought I was number one DPS. I was gonna say. I'm like there's some issues. I'm actually up there. Do anoint again. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. All right, let's get out of here. It's the last dungeon until a max level.
Get a cardboard cache. It's not opening yet. <sighs> Good stuff. <coughs> so this is where we end it. Fucking Jamal. Fucking Jamal, dude. Come on, man. This is actually like... I'm telling you, dude. This class has potential. I don't know why I don't see some more Sun Cleric tanks. Seraphim? These tanks are kind of sick. Where's the caster snake? Dude, I just hate how long all of these take, man. I feel like anoint doesn't do that much. I don't know. It could just be me, though. We used the uh, cooldown of Seraphim Stripe by five seconds to deal damage, and that would just its cooldown as a matter. Wings of Courage increases damage dealt by 15. Wait, wait, what's Anchi's blessing? What's Anchi's blessing? I'm gonna have to check what Anchi's blessing is. Because I don't know what that is. Dude, I have seven temple. I have seven sunken temple. Fucking. Caches. Like. This dungeon sucks. Yo, Teal. I need you to, like, ramp up for, the, for this next fight, okay? Fuck you, Jamal. Dude, that was kind of a sketchy pull, but. We did it, gang. Good job. Good job. Fuck that guy. I fucking hate this dungeon, man. It should prioritize dungeons that you haven't done. When you're in the leveling, like, 15 to 59. I've done Sunken Temple three times. There's two quests in here. One quest. Second quest drops off the boss. The... Gem of or uh, heart of Uranicus. It's the first time I've ever seen. Oh my god, please don't pull those ads. Please don't pull them. Oh, thank fuck, dude. That would have sucked. Yeah, I'm really not feeling like anoint does anything crazy. See, I was just stacking daybreaks. I'm dude, I'm so bad at this. Dude, I did not want to hit 60 in Sunken Temple. I'm going to let you know that right now. This was not the game plan. I got to wait until I daybreak. Oh my god, I got really unlucky right there. I didn't get like any daybreaks. Good job, guys. All right, let's go. Go! We're going to mark something for undergo to peace. Oh, that's just the usual. We'll be fine. I don't, I don't think you need mana. I, I think we should be good. Annoying. I mean, I guess annoying would be like better in bigger pulls but like even in the pulls with like three or four melee ads like it still felt like it wasn't doing much did it boys 
Level 60 Sun Cleric. That feels good, dude. That feels good, man. Three hours and 47 minutes. All right. Now for the great unboxing. Let's see if we got any gear out of this. So let's go ahead. Let's delete the lock boxes. Delete all this bullshit ass gear that's in my bags. All of this useless nonsense stuff that I just, I'll never look at ever again. All of this trash. All right, let's start with the uh, Temple of Atalhakar. We got nine of them. So let's do strength, Tribal Guardian, fuck you. Silent Fang, Butcher's Apron. I mean, I, it's better. It's better than the the uh, heirloom. Actually, let's open the, the cache. Savage Gladiator, all right. That's fucking vendor material. True Aim Gauntlets. Okay. Aegis of Stormwind. That was, that's a good one. Wait, why does it say 65? Yeah, that's not 65. Why? Cannonball Runner? Fuck me, dude. Arcane... Sure. Why not? Knight Captain? I mean, it's... Are... I don't know if... If Sun Cleric tanks... Are they hybrid? Would they be hybrid? Because, like, they scale... Right? Off of, um... Like, holy fire damage and holy damage and fire damage. So, like, couldn't it technically be hybrid? You could, like, you could run, run the, uh, Deathbone gear set, right? Let's see, classic sets. Deathbone. Defense rating, spell power, strength, stamina, and that sounds good. And it's plate. That's not bad. We, 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 we could do that. Strength. I'm not putting that on. Let's do, uh... Dungeon, where's the dungeon spoil is that? Bone snapper. Battle chasers greaves. Sure, those those aren't bad. Okay, these don't scale. I think it's just the chest. So let's go ahead and get rid of this shit. And we've made quite a bit of gold too. Hold on, we gotta we gotta fix this. Gold, look at the gold. 148. Stop. There we go. So this shit. Alright, LFG, Maradon, Strength, Claw, Severus. I can't even use fist weapons. Oh, this is 51 through 59. Light Forge. You know what? I'll take some Light Forge shit. Detention Strap. I'll take it. Barbatuous Blade. Can't even use two handers. We got a decent trinket right there. Phantasmal Cloak, sure. Rip Hook, Hand of Justice, we just put that on. Master Cannoneer's Greaves, way better than what I had on. Blackstone Ring, it's better than, uh, better than that. Seeping Willow, another Hodge, and another Rip Hook. Hmm. Earth slag shoulders. So we're at 41.87 item level. Honestly, might just get rid of the... All that bullshit. Yeah, we're not really getting much. Mana storm cash. Right, let's get rid of these. I don't think these are scaling. I'm telling you, dude. Leveling character, get quite a bit of gold from it. It's not much, like a lot, a lot, but it's something. Let's open that 46 through 55. Lightforge uh, boots. I mean, those, eh, those could be better than what I'm wearing. Earth slag. Hmm, I think we're gonna go with the Earth Slag. Rods. I don't think we have any more. Oh, we gotta get new. Gotta get new leggings. River Pride Choker, sure, why not? Yeah? Do you do a lot of melee cleave or melee has that deal damage with your main hand? A lot of it is just like the spells itself just cleave multiple targets. 
You saw damage taken. Taking damage that brings you below 35% will heal you for 35%. Max health reduced damage taken by 70% for 5 seconds. Can occur more than once every 2 minutes. Valkyries, watch. That might be the move. I don't know what these are, but hey. Can't get to them. I kind of like what I have. Every, uh, this, this is more like based off uh, like AoE. So I will have to say... Um, I mean, we, we did this all... We did it 1 through 60. Um, and we did it as Seraphim, which is the tank. I do completely understand what everything does for the most part. Um, I think some weaknesses definitely um, is just there's not enough. I feel like there's not enough block, like passive block rating, uh, stamina, unless I missed it. Um, which I don't think I don't. There's increased healing done by 5%, but that's not really that important. Um, there's just not a lot of, like, passive, like, health increases. There's not any, like, there's not a lot of block, um, shield rating, just any defensive stat. There's just not a lot passively that they give you and I feel like that's what kind of hurts this class is it brings that like plate paladin ish kind of vibe but it doesn't take any fucking damage whatsoever it's more of like a reactive tank spec so like you get hit right and you kind of like a swashbuckle tank or like a parry tank like all your procs all your damage comes from getting hit and that's good right that makes like a really good uh mythic plus tank but then again that also makes you really squishy if you're not having the stats behind it it's very gear uh heavy like dependent really gear depend <clears throat> dependent um it just doesn't feel it doesn't feel like i can do high content with this tank at all but some positives it does do a lot of aoe damage it it, it does really good crowd uh, like just crowd damage in general like um not gavel but sunflare a agus actually does it ticks a lot i mean 13 cast 488 hits i mean that's kind of fucking ridiculous you know what i mean same thing with uh dawnbringer dawnbringer is kind of bugged i think so you're able to cast this from 30 yards away right and what happens is, is you cast it and it hits 10 nearby targets. But I think it hits 10 nearby targets within a 30 yard radius. So if I hit, if, if I see, watch here, I'll, I'll show you guys. It, that's why I kept like over pulling, like I was pulling a lot. Um, so like peep this, maybe, oh, they're not there. Where are they? Hello? Okay, now I don't know how to show you guys. Maybe I'll be able to show you an Iron Forge. Let's go to Iron Forge real quick. I want because I want to show you this. Like the range in which Dawnbringer hits is the the range for the actual ability, and I don't think that's intended. All right, so watch. Um, so we'll do like, so that's about 25 to 30 yards right there. You're 20, 20 to 25. If I hit this, look, it hit this target too. Did you guys see that? Watch. I'll go right here. I'm aimed at that target. Watch this. Watch this guy right here. It hits him too. And just to show... It's not because I'm standing next to him. Watch this. If I come over here, right, and I hit this target, watch that one. It still hits him. That's 30 yards. And that's 30 yards radius, like right here. It's a 30 yard radius. So really, it's or, or it's hitting or it's hitting 30 yards in every direction. So that that is holy fuck. That's kind of an issue. 
like that there, there's gonna be a lot of accidental pulls like mythic plus like you're gonna be pulling shit i i think in that shadow fang keep when we pulled odo the blind watcher and all that how the f oh my god dude whoa did someone horn yo where's all this shit coming from i think i had caught casted a dawnbringer and i think it pulled all those mobs through the floor now if that analysis is correct dawnbringer is bugged and it's going to be causing a lot of tank issues it's going to pull shit through the floor and that's not really helpful right the range is dope i'm happy i can like pull things with it right but i don't think i don't i don't think it's intended that it's like 30 yards op for speed running yeah it is op but when, but now we're thinking about like longevity now the game's actually starting because i'm hitting level 60 you know what i mean so i like that that's going to be a big issue for doing heroics mythic pluses whatever you, you know you're doing um yeah like i want you to imagine like the grim guzzler like you hit one target with dawnbringer it's gonna pull the entire fucking bar you know what i mean like it's gonna pull literally the entire room bro that's that's like a hundred plus mobs in there fuck that now, I do see some similarities in, like, um, Holy Paladin. Since it applies Purging Flames, Purging Way is separate ability or just Dawnbringer? It's just... Purging Flames, I don't think it's Dawnbringer exclusive. I think I think something else cast it. If I'm not mistaking uh, what I'm reading. So, oh, no. No. Okay, so it is unique, but you do extra... You do 10% increased damage against enemies affected by it. your your single target ability your uh, gavel of atonement which is pretty good gavel atonement is pretty good um but i don't think this class is revolving itself around single target like i don't think this is a single t like if i was to choose two tanks to do like raid bosses i would probably pick a son of arugo and a guardian tank right um or a venomancer but i i heard they're kind of squishy now but this is definitely like a like a aoe um like a mythic percent i know i keep saying that but this is definitely a mythic plus tank just because of the aoe potential that it has it does really good damage um it feels i, I played a protection paladin on retail and this feels just like a protection paladin um but cool thing like i said going back to what i was saying and leading up to what i just said right um, with it feeling like a pro paladin, you can you have kind of like this like similarities with it, right? So like shine, um, you know you could pop your sunset, which we have it so it um, affects two additional spells, which I misheard or I misread it. I thought it was when you used it, it wouldn't use one of the sunset charges, but it just adds two charges to your sunset. But you're able to like kind of flash of light unless i missed the change on venomancer tank is anything but squishy is it i i heard something like weird about venomancer but I, I i think i may have i think i may have misinterpreted for cultist all tanks are good for mythic plus yeah but i think this one's exceptionally good i think this one's really good i think this one's going to be the more preferred one honestly because it has a lot it has potential for self-sustain with shine um I mean, you could ha instantly have it. You could have it so it crits, right? Um, you can increase the healing it does. Plus, you could also pick up Angelic Touch, increasing healing done by 5%, which is going to make your shine hit 5% harder. Critical heals with shine also increase the healing that the target receives by 6%. So if you And that's multiplicative. You know what I mean? So I think that you can really like this class it's kit comes with aoe control i mean you're you've kind of forced to pick a stun it's really good this this car i mean speed run eh. but i think like when it comes to aoe like the thing about prop paladin in retail was that they were almost like in, in mythic plus they were almost like having a like a fourth dps in like they they were doing so much damage with avenger shield plus it was always silencing right because avenger shield silences um 
and with like hammer of righteous and sh shield of righteous right like and it's obviously it's war to glory procs when you you know you get a crit um with like divine storm and stuff like this is pretty much along the same lines it's kit comes with a bunch of aoe and a bunch of self-sustain which i kind of expected otherwise i expect i mean they do have some uh abilities that make it so that you take the last i think it was a scroll scroll of hope reduce the magic magic damage taken all allies within 30 yards by 40 percent that's gonna be really good for raid overall like in consensus of all of this it's not a bad class it's not a bad spec Obviously, like I want to, I want to check out pie pipe, piety. However you say that, piety. I see pie tea, pie tie, pie tie. I heard. I mean, blessings. Obviously, it's no joke that blessings is really good. <laughs> pie a tea, piety, pity should be the fucking pity. It's a pity they nerfed it. But I mean, like blessings is definitely the only reason why I S tiered. I mean that, and like I've seen Valkyrie aside it from being a piano spec. Definitely gonna have more videos, and once this thing's geared, I might just do videos just for the video. If you like, subscribe, like the video, comment, support your boy. Everything helps, doesn't it? Yes. We be making buco bucks. Money. Oh, I can't say that. They don't. They can't know I make money from it, cause then they won't like and subscribe. Arms for the poor. <laughs> change. We want answers, Stop. dude. I could finally eat. Oh, I didn't say I'll see you in the next video. And we will. See you in the next. They can't one. see you. See you in the next video. Like. And subscribe. Comment. Some shit. Whoa! Oh! Oh! What shit! Are you doing? What's going on? Say like and subscribe, hurry before my shit snaps. Like and subscribe, thank you, Pin.